They've been hailed as heroes in France and across the world. Three young Americans and a British man who refused to hide from terrorism. Today, they were joined by relatives who flew in from America to receive a formal thank you from the people of France. President Hollande spoke for all of the French when he paid tribute to their courage in tackling the gunman on the Amsterdam to Paris train. Monsieur Spencer Stone, au nom de la République française, je vous fais chevalier de la Légion d'honneur. They were, he said, an example to the world. Au nom de la France, je tiens à vous remercier. On behalf of France, I would like to thank you for what you've done. Since Friday, the entire world admires your bravery, your composure, your spirit of responsibility. This sense of solidarity, which allowed you to intervene barehanded to control an individual who is heavily armed and so determined. Your heroism should be an example to many of us and a source of inspiration. It was gut instinct, survival, the men have said, that got them out of their seats on Friday's packed train as the attacker prepared to open fire. They beat him to the ground, one of the Americans was injured in the fight with a knife, and then tied him up until the train stopped and police came. It's a bizarre end to a dramatic holiday for the three Americans who a few days ago were traveling around Europe visiting friends. And now here they are at the Elysee Palace receiving the highest honor in the land from the French president himself. Afterwards, the British man, Chris Norman, said he hoped that what they did would give others courage in the future. I think that uh, one way or another, uh, we are going to be facing this kind of problem uh, quite a few times in the future. And, uh, you know, I would invite you all to think about what do I do in that situation? Uh, act if the opportunity presents itself. Also present at the ceremony were staff who were on the train, as well as the head of the SNCF rail company. Questions are now being asked about security on European trains. But today the focus is on the responsibility of the individual and the remarkable example set by these brave men. Hugh Schofield, BBC News, Paris.